Hey everyone and welcome back to my channel and welcome back to Sundays at Tiffany's. If you're new here, my name is Tiffany Beeston and every Sunday I put up a video to motivate you for the week ahead. So first of all, I've already got gotten like so much done this morning. It is 10.30 a.m. Um, this one woke up at 5.30 a.m. So that's how I was able to accomplish so much. Um, so I'm going to insert that footage here. Uh, we did some laundry. Um, and put some clothes away. We also put some stuff in the crock pot, but I'll show you all of that right here.
I even meal planned and placed my um, grocery pickup order. So we, we'll do that around three o'clock today and I'll do like a little grocery haul and show you everything that I got from the grocery store. Um, and right now Carter and I were going to go to my training, but she had to cancel last minute. So we're going to Dollar Tree instead. What are we gonna look for here? I be good. I can look at toys. Yes, if you're good, you can look at toys. But what are we looking for for our house? Fall decorations. Fall decorations. All right, let's go check it out and see if they have anything good. Should we get some pumpkins? Pumpkins for Halloween? Yeah. How many should we get? Three for Ella and Tanner and me. Oh, that's a good idea. This is really cute. What, does something creep you out? Oh my goodness. What is it? It's a rat! <laughs> it's hard, it's just the hard part of Yeah. I'm doing a toy on you. You are? Mm -hmm. Carter. <laughs> How was Dollar Tree? Was it good? Did you find any good fall stuff there? Yeah? So I'm home, as you saw, Carter and I went to Dollar Tree and we had like a little date. I have been promising him that we can have a date before he goes back to school, so we just went to Starbucks. Um, I did stop at Big Lots because I thought they were gonna have like a bunch of fall decor, but the pieces that I did like were like insanely expensive for what they were. There was like a little tiny glass pumpkin for $15, which honestly made no sense to me because I could get something like that from Pier 1 if I wanted to, but I went to Big Lots to get like cheap decor. Anyway. <laughs> I'm just being honest because I don't like spend a ton of money on like seasonal decor because I do change it every single year. So I like give it away to my family members or like sell it at yard sale, whatever. But I don't like to spend like a ton of money because I don't keep the same stuff every single holiday. But anyway, I put came home, nursed Ella, I put the boys down. I still hear them though, but the um, butternut squash is completely done. This is the first time I've ever done it this way. I literally just put it in the crock pot and put it on high for four hours and it's so soft, which is what was supposed to happen because if you've ever worked with butternut squash before, it's really hard to work with. Um, even you, know, you put it in the microwave and then you cut it and it's just like a bunch of steps, but literally put it in a crock pot and all of it's soft, so I'm gonna let it cool down um, and then peel it and we're gonna make butternut squash mac and cheese. You can see here, like I poked it to see, but completely like perfect. I'm just gonna let it cool off in here. So I'm boiling some water and then I'm gonna cook this penne. So not technically macaroni, but penne. I'm just gonna slice this open. See how easily it cuts. This is like the way to go for sure. wanted to mention that before I placed my pea pot order I sat down this morning and planned like a ton of crock pot meals to do um, a new video um, so all next week I'm gonna be recording like every single crock pot meal we make so I also did that today Adding in the butternut squash. Let's see what it looks 
garlic here. I'm just gonna add a little bit of milk. And do this all just like by texture. So like, if it looks like it needs more liquid, add more liquid. If you like a lot of butter or milk, you like less squash, just make it however you wanna do it. Just adding a tablespoon of butter. Just melt that in. Too much because I'm trying to get my kids to eat it. We'll see how that goes. And then some cheddar cheese. And I'm gonna leave, like, I'm not gonna put too much in because I'm gonna top it with cheddar cheese before I bake it, too. Right now, I'm just trying to make it at nap time so I don't have to worry about cooking when they are awake. almost one cup of cheese right now. And I did one full box of the gluten-free pasta and one whole butternut squash. Perfect. I'm gonna put it back into that baking dish. go ahead and put top it with board, more cheese, um, cover it and put it into the oven on 350 for about 25 minutes. Um, but if you're like me and you're just gonna put it in the fridge and save it for later on in the evening, let it cool off first. So it's three o'clock, um, Chris and Ella are going to go pick up the groceries and I'm gonna go fold some clothes. You back? All right. Oh, thank you. Bye baby, love you. Right, so since I have so much laundry to catch up on, I just like like to sort out everybody's laundry before I do it. It's easier to put it away. It just goes faster. It keeps my mind clear. I don't know, but I love doing it this way. My clothes, Chris's clothes, Carter, Tanner, Ella. It and it took me 17 minutes according to my camera <laughs> so I cleaned out the fridge before like Chris gets home you know like last night before bed I threw away a bunch of stuff that was going bad and we just kind of like slightly organized it but this was what was left of our produce so I just made a little fruit salad for the boys for when they wake up first one awake in the morning first one awake from nap always hey are you savoring your lemonade yeah all right let's go pick our stuff I know you know which ones are ready you're so good at picking them 
Good job. Okay. We get these like every single day. I love it. Except that I'm the only one in my house that eats tomatoes. Something you forgot. Is it ready? Yeah. You need my help? Yeah. This is my first time like actually, you know, growing any of this stuff, but jalapenos, I feel like they've been looking like this forever and I'm not sure when I'm supposed to pick them. Mommy, look at this grape jalapeno. A grape jalapeno it does look like a grape, huh? We're getting our groceries. Welcome. All right, so you may hear kids screaming in the background, but here's my haul. So we got uh, crunchy peanut butter granola bars and then that's the regular ones. Dark chocolate chip. I swore I wasn't gonna buy these anymore, but everything I try, like they don't eat them like they eat these, so. Unfortunately, these are staying for now. Um, kettle corn is a favorite around here. Peanut butter checks. These are new, so I haven't tried them yet, but I think they'll be good in their snack cups. And then these are pumpkin spice waffles. Both Chris and I will like these. So if you're vegan, don't watch this part. Okay, so we got chicken breast cutlets. These are just for the grill, quick and easy barbecue chicken. This is for the rest of these are for other recipes. Um, sweet Italian chicken sausage. We have meatballs. Never gotten these before, but every time we go out, the kids have been wanting these. They're probably not the best, um, but fed is best even in toddlers because my kids are so picky lately. The giant thing of chicken breast, chicken thighs. And this was really sad. I didn't realize this was like barely anything in here. And it was like, I want to say like $7. And I need another one of these for the recipe. I guess I should have like paid closer attention, but it's like nothing. I had to get these cake cups, half and half. Two things whipped cream for coffee, of course. And some eggs, we go through eggs like nobody's business in this house. Got two things of taco shells. Ranch salad dressing, seasoning mix, Montreal steak mix, um, tomato paste, chicken broth, beef broth, and then I ran out of honey. I got a pound of American cheese. What are you guys doing? Care slow, okay? Careful. Sorry, I had to pause for that cute moment. Back to our haul. Also got Italian seasoning. For produce, we got a watermelon, strawberries, blueberries, carrots, green beans, celery some kale, Brussels sprouts, I think I said blueberries already, uh, two peppers, two avocados, some russet potatoes, honey crisp apples, and sweet potatoes. I needed freezer bags, let's put that away right now while we're all here. We got lots of apple juice. I don't know why I ordered this many. I think I was tired of running out all the time. But my kids won't drink water. Ella will. She doesn't drink apple juice. She drinks water. But the boys, they have to have apple juice, which is half apple juice, the rest water. But I cannot get away with just water. And then this no added sugar apple cider is actually for a crock pot recipe. Now it's time to rinse our blueberries. Yeah. Do you need a tissue, baby? Yeah.
All right, so we got some barbecue chicken on the grill, just sweet baby rays. And now I'm just adding some cheddar cheeses, and we're gonna cover it and bake it on 350. Now that it's cold, probably check it at 25 minutes and see how it's doing. All right, so I got all of this stuff put away. I wanted to mention, because I talked about this in a previous vlog, and I think it does make a difference, is that you don't have to use the crispers for fruits and veggies. This is like our butter and cream cheese drawer. And this is just like random stuff. Um, we do like whatever meat we're having that day down here. And then this is all cheeses. But we keep our produce where we can see it. This way it doesn't go bad and we make sure we're using it. And that tip really, really helped us a lot. I really need one of those like tea organizers. That would be awesome. By the way, don't get excited. This is for a PMS. So this is after um, 25 minutes, and now I'm just gonna quickly broil it. Okay, so this is after about four minutes. Look how good that looks. including myself, that's a, there's always chaos after a bath. It's like a zoo. Um, so I'm gonna put the boys' clothes away first before I get them like situated in their beds and stuff. show you the crickets but apparently I'll just show you Chris instead but it's really silent you can hear the bugs outside and the kids are finally sleeping I'm going to make the bed Chris is going to get off his butt and help me uh, and I don't think so. yeah he is and then I'm gonna go downstairs and clean up and then I'm gonna be done because I'm exhausted it's about eight o'clock right now so let's get it all done
for you. Workers. So I'm just going to go ahead and wipe everything down, but I'm going to end it here. I hope that you all enjoyed this video and that it gave you some motivation. Uh, I can't wait to show you like all of the fall videos I have planned between recipes and decor videos, clean and decorate, DIYs. I'm excited, so make sure you hit that subscribe button and stay tuned and thanks again for watching. Okay.